So, um, Henry Ruggs probably isn't playing football anytime soon, is what I would say. Guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. When I heard this crazy story about Henry Ruggs, which I'm sure by this point all of you NFL fans and just most of you in general who aren't even NFL fans have heard of by now, um, about, I think it was two days ago, when this news broke in the morning, I was like, wow, Henry Ruggs is in a lot of trouble. But this morning, they, well, about two days ago, there were still plenty of details that were unknown. It was still controversial. It, it, usually I'm not someone who makes videos about controversial off the field incidents. It's kind of like politics where when there's controversy, you don't want to really make an opinion because no matter what, there's going to be siding going on and someone's going to disagree with you and someone's going to think less of you or something. They're going to like judge what you say. So two days ago, I wasn't planning on making a video about this whole incident, but with the new details that have emerged today, I realized this is no longer a controversy. This is set in stone. Henry Ruggs is a moron and we got to talk about it because some of these details are just insane. I couldn't believe it when I read some of these details. I just, I, we just got to talk about this. I could not not make a video about this. So let's just get into this real quick. I found this article. Well, I didn't find it. I guess the article found me. It's ESPN. I pretty much like most significant, I don't know, websites have made an article about this, but you know, ESPN, they specialize in sports. And the only reason I'm making a video about this is because it involves an athlete. Obviously that's what we do here at Jacksontown. We specialize in sports, of course. So let's just go through the article. I'm sure most of you might already know the details, but let me just give you my reaction to all this. I, I, I haven't read this specific article, but I've, I've heard about the details. Um, I saw uh, them talking about it on TV. I think it was actually Sports Center this morning, but we just got to go over this, guys, because it's pretty insane. So, former Las Vegas Raiders wide receiver Henry Ruggs III was driving 156 miles per hour. Oh my, dude, is he Vin Diesel? Like, how, what cars go that fast that are street legal? Not many. Like, that's not, I didn't, I, I forgot to check what car he actually was driving, but how do you reach a speed that fast? Like, that's, that's so stupid. How, 156 miles per hour. With a blood alcohol content twice Nevada's legal limit before his car slammed into the rear of a vehicle that burned, killing a 23-year-old woman, according to prosecutors. So let me get this straight. So when your blood alcohol content is twice the, the, the acceptable level, you're drunk, okay? I remember yesterday, they talked about how his... His, uh, I, they said he might, or there, he was probably or might have been impaired. No, he wasn't impaired. He was drunk. He had way too much to drink. And he's driving 156 miles per hour. 156 miles per hour. I still can't believe that number. Like, how did the car, a lot of cars that you can buy at like your everyday dealership, they don't reach a speed that high. I don't know how you can get to that speed. And even if you do, when you're drunk, it's, exponentially more dangerous as you I'm sure you all know so that's just insane and then the worst part obviously he killed a 23 year old woman which is which is just so sad and irresponsible of Henry Ruggs I mean I I couldn't believe this like so let's just keep going I'll give some more analysis as we go Ruggs 22 remained seated in a wheelchair with a foam brace on his neck and jail guards at his elbows during his initial court appearance Wednesday on pending felony charges of driving under the influence of alcohol resulting in death and reckless driving. Yeah, so he was charged or, or for DUI, or he's going to be, uh, if he has, or he was charged for DUI, potentially reckless driving, which even if he wasn't drunk and he did what he did, he would already be in a ton of trouble. So those, those are two charges right there. And I, I mean, I know he's obviously going to be injured because he had, they said he had the foam brace and he's in a wheelchair and stuff, but he's lucky to not have a died, which was a real possibility going at that speed. And number two, not be like seriously, seriously injured, like a permanent life changing injury, like being paralyzed, for example. So he's lucky to not be super injured himself or significantly injured himself. So then it basically um, moves on to say, nevertheless, he rejected prosecutor Eric Bauman's request to set uh, Ruggs' bail at $1 million and instead set the amount of 150000 with strict conditions to include home confinement, electronic monitor monitoring, no alcohol, no driving, and the surrender of Ruggs' passport. Basically, until the final conviction, un until his trial is done and they've had the verdict, obviously he had to pay $150,000 just to be uh, essentially uh, at home on at home arrest essentially being at home being monitored and stuff he had to pay $150,000 uh, just just for that privilege 
Uh, and then it says, according to the police, Tina uh, O. Tinter was the name of the Las Vegas woman who died with her dog. Her, her dog died too, guys. Like, it, like, I'm telling you, every detail I read gets worse and worse. What you heard two days ago, if you're obviously, I, I mean, if you're a Raiders fan or you just, whatever it is, you just hope that you want rugs to not have had the worst happen to him, obviously. But once we heard a woman died, he was his career, I think, was already over. But I guess it, it, we didn't want it to... We hoped it wasn't the worst case scenario where he was intoxicated. Like, there was a, the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he, it was an accident. We don't know the details. But just everything is going way against Ruggs' favor. All the details that emerge are just so bad. Even worse than we thought. So the dog also died. It burned the Toyota RAV4. So the whole car was destroyed. Records show she lived several block, blocks from where the crash occurred on a busy thoroughfare in a residential area several miles west of the Las Vegas Strip. Hey... Vegas is crazy. Be careful there if you guys go there. Bauman told the judge that airbag computer records showed that the Corvette... Oh, it was a Corvette. Okay, so that's how it got to 156. Because most cars uh, you see on the street don't reach speeds that high. It decelerated from 156 miles per hour to a modest 127. Not very fast. <laughs> Before it slammed into a Toyota at about 3.40 a.m. Tuesday, rupturing the vehicle's fuel tank and igniting a fireball. So basically, he managed to get the car down to a, a modest speed of 127 miles per hour, and his car exploded. I mean, 127 miles per hour? I don't even know how Henry Ruggs himself survived. It's just, I mean, just so irresponsible. And the Raiders, okay, this was another big detail that emerged. The Raiders released Henry Ruggs, which isn't a surprise, but still, they, they made it official that, look, even if you somehow get out of this or you think you're going to have an NFL career, it's not going to be with us. Okay, you're done. Okay. So the punishment was just obviously going to be so severe that they didn't want anything to do with him. And then, yeah, just hours after the crash and shortly after he was released from the hospital and booked into a Las Vegas jail. The extent of his injuries were not... Okay, I'm just going to... Let's see if anything's significant. Okay, Ruggs' girlfriend uh, identified the police as Kiara Janai Kilgo Washington, also 22, of Las Vegas, was with him in the car. His girlfriend was in the car. So, like, he, these situations just keep getting worse and worse. I mean, uh, um, and she was also injured. She underwent surgery for severe arm injury, authority said. Okay, um, oh, so apparently Henry Ruggs uh, has a daughter with his girlfriend, a three-year-old daughter together. Poor girl. I mean, she's not going to really have much uh, of a fatherly influence for most of her life, I would say. And then the district attorney said he also might file a weapon charge against Ruggs related to possessing a gun while under the influence of... He had a gun as well. I mean, I'm telling you guys, the details just get worse and worse. It was a loaded gun in the car at the time of the crash. So, oh my goodness, he's going to get charged for so many things. Uh... So it says, okay, Bauman said Ruggs was uncooperative with police and medical workers and his blood alcohol level taken within the required two hours after the crash was 0.161%. Police said previously in a statement that Ruggs showed signs of impairment. It was way worse than that, like I mentioned. And then um, there was one part that I was reading that, that really made it uh, worse. Okay, so this right here, it says... Added to the possible one to six years for reckless driving, Bauman told Bonaventure that Ruggs could face up to 46 years behind bars if convicted. My goodness. And then it says property shows, okay, Ruggs owns a $1.1 million home in a neighborhood, but far from the crash occurred. Okay, uh, far from where the crash occurred. So it says, Wolfson said investigators learned that Ruggs spent several hours at Topgolf. I love me some Topgolf. That's a great hangout spot, um, but just don't get drunk and then drive home maybe when you go there or after you go there, don't do that. So it says Las Vegas Justice of the uh, Peace, Joe M. Bonaventure said he was troubled by his initial review of the case against Ruggs, adding that in 16 years on the bench, he had never heard of a crash involving a vehicle traveling so fast. I haven't heard of it. And this judge, look, you gotta have a lot of life experience to be a judge. You, you, you would have had to have seen a lot of things before you became a judge. That's bad when the judge says he never recalled some uh, a car going that fast. I mean, 156 miles is insane. Like, I mean, especially if you're a passenger viewing that from the street or something. It's just insane. It, it's like NASCAR. I mean, does he think he's Vin Diesel? I mean, it's just, it's just, it just sucks. And then, um, yeah, the Raiders, after releasing him, said there was a, okay, yeah, they just made a statement, probably a normal statement without any emotion like most franchises do. 
Okay, so yeah, it says with 24 catches for 469 yards and two touchdowns, Ruggs' 19.5 yards per catch average was second in the NFL among pass catchers with at least 20 receptions. Uh, okay, Josh Jenkins. Okay, so long story short, guys, this this is just Henry Ruggs is a moron. Okay, you 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 have such a promising young bright. You're, you're such a promising young player with such a bright future because Henry Ruggs was just a first round pick last year with game breaking speed and talent. And last year, he kind of had a rough rookie year, but this year, he was having a really good season, and it looked like he was about to emerge into a star. Raiders fans were excited. I was excited. I'm not even a Raiders fan at, at the future that this guy had, kind of like a, the next Tyree Kill or something. And a stupid decision like this is, you know, for, for those who think that he has a chance to come back and have a potential future in the NFL... I would say no, not because teams won't take a chance on him. I'm going to say no because I think he's going to be in jail so long that by the time he gets out, he's going to be in his middle ages. That I mean, I think he could go to jail for up to 46 years. I could, I, I could see him going to jail for 20 years. So absolutely his NFL career is over after just one stupid mistake. So let that be a lesson to you guys to... I, I, I'm sure most of you should know this already, but... Don't drive after you drink. Don't make a stupid decision that could cost you your career because all it takes is just one stupid decision and your life is can go completely downhill and change right after that. So, yeah, that's the lesson, guys. Don't be a moron. Be, be safe. Don't drink and drive. Think before you do something. Uh, and also, I want to quickly apologize to Raiders fans because... You guys are some of the best fans in the world, and you deserve so much better. You guys have a good team, 5-2, and two, but just these terrible things keep happening to your personnel. Obviously, Henry Ruggs making stupid decisions. Obviously, what he did was so stupid. John Gruden being a racist, being a, a homophobe, being, saying all the things he said, and, and, and just like... Raiders fans, I'm sorry that your personnel is... You have some members on, on your in your organization that are just that just don't think that are just stupid but guys i'm so sorry i'm sorry for Derek carr i'm sorry for all the the members of the raiders who don't do stupid things you guys are good people your fan base i'm just sorry this had to happen guys but i had to talk about this because this was pretty insane so guys uh that's gonna be it for today's video uh let me know what you think about this situation this insane situation but i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i will talk to you guys later